Hello, all of you beautiful people. Okay, I just finished. Uh, yeah, I know. I still got the swatches on them. I'll take it off later. Um, so this video is going to be, guys and girls, you can watch the video. It's not a makeup video. Uh, people on the group asked me to um, do my, because I always uh, post my smoothie recipes on my fitness page. Um, and people are like, oh, we want to see how you make it. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm going to make, I, uh, I'll, I'll make one smoothie per video because I obviously can't drink all the smoothies and I don't want to waste products. So um, earlier on, I ended up eating a, my house smells so good <laughs> that I'm hungry all the time. It's crazy. I had a protein bar instead of the smoothie that I was supposed to have. So I'm going to show you my green protein smoothie, okay? So this is the first smoothie I'm going to make, and then I have a dessert smoothie that I'll show you guys that has absolutely nothing bad in it to help those uh, uh, chocolate cravings of, of yours, but that will be the next one. It's not time for my chocolate smoothie, so um, I'm going to quickly make my normal smoothie. So I don't specifically take a cup and measure everything out. I just shove it in there, okay? So the first thing you start out, start out with is some kale. Now, usually, I go and I buy the fresh kale with the stems and everything still on them in, like, bushels. I don't know how you say bushels, uh, from the, the, this health food store thing that we get. But uh, I didn't go grocery shopping. I didn't go in that direction. So I just grabbed some from the local grocery store. And it's like the baby, uh, baby kale greens. Those are perfectly fine. I like the ones with the stems, though, because I think there's some stuff in the stems, too. So I just shove a handful. And I'm using my um, bullet. Okay, so I shove a handful of there in there about yay much, like so. All right, and then on top of that, I get I have frozen blueberries. Um, I, you can get them at Costco, the bigger bags. I don't like the blueberries at Costco as much as I like the Target and Walmart blueberries. The, 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 the blueberries from Walmart and Target is much sweeter and much nicer. So I just throw in there about a, okay, it's not supposed to be a chunk like that. I'll have to break that down. I usually <laughs> ram this thing down on the cupboard before I start. Okay, so just about, I would say, nearly a cupful, three quarters of a cup, half a cup, something like that. Okay, with blueberries, just like so. Okay, and then on top of that, I add my. Yeah, uh, okay, now these ones are mixed already. I'm going to show you. Let's do it this way. Ooh, I don't want to spill it. Okay, that's what chia seeds look like when they're moistened already. Um, don't want to try them uh, uh, before you moisten them because you have to drink a ton of water, otherwise these things will clog you up, okay? So a huge honking spoon of that goes right in there. Okay, this is more than a tablespoon, so like, I would say two tablespoons of this. Okay, then I add to my smoothie some acai powder that I, for um, uh, detoxification, it's like anti-aging kind of stuff, teaspoon of that, it's a dark, dark powder, like so, in it goes, okay, and then on top of that, I add my protein powder, for this I'm going to use a casein um, powder because this is a, a long last, this is the one that I currently am using, it's a vanilla flavor, um, you can use, I also have the whey, so I, it depends on when I'm drinking it. This is going to be a meal for me, so I'm actually replacing a meal. So I wouldn't use the whey protein because this stays in your system for much longer. It break, takes longer to break down, so it's in there for about three hours, then I'll be good before I eat something else. If I do the whey powder, it, uh, powder, it only stays in your system for about half hour, and then you're hungry again. So a scoop of my protein powder, casein protein powder, just like so. In it goes. Riley. and then I've got some ice water right here and you just fill it up to I would say about there just like so okay this thing has a little max on it now I have to tell you guys we got another um, blender because this only makes one if, if you make smoothies for just one person this is perfectly fine this is a pretty strong engine I think it's 600 is it what something 600 watt engine so it's perfectly fine if you're just gonna make smoothies for yourself but I have a whole family that drinks smoothies and you can't Johan and I can't share a smoothie in this so if I only use this then it's gonna mean I have to make a smoothie for myself and then I have to move, um, pour it out and then make another smoothie so we have another blender for when we make more than one smoothie now I also have to tell you something um, 
this blender, okay, is strong for most things, except freaking strawberries, okay? If you try and put a strawberry, frozen strawberry in here, they freeze like rock solid hard. Any frozen, anything else, you can shove in here and you don't have a problem. The moment you put the frozen strawberry in this thing, this engine's going to blow up on you. I mean, it's like, uh, 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 when, when it tries to break down strawberries. So if you have a fancier uh, blender that can tolerate, like we have one here, I'll, I'll show it to you in another video, um, then it's fine for strawberries. If you're going to just buy this one or if you have the little one like this, you have to defrost your strawberries a little bit before you put them in here, okay? Because this engine is not power, powerful enough for the frozen strawberries. Everything else is fine. Frozen, any fruit. You can do pineapples, you can do whatever fruit you want to put in there. It's fine. Just the damn strawberries don't work, okay? So here we go. It's going to be loud. Okay, I have some powder at the bottom, so I'm just going to shake it up like so, put it back. thing there is not one bad thing in here there's no uh, carbohydrates in there that's going to get your glycemic index up it's not going to get your insulin pumping and go to your fat cells and everything your greens are in there we i do usually three smoothies a day which one of them is always my chocolate smoothie okay <laughs> so um in this one you have your kale which is your greens with all your potassium and your all your wonderful things that you should be having because you really should get, we, you know, even for Johan and I, we haven't um, been getting enough vegetables in and I could feel it. I mean, I could feel it in my body. My body was just not, you know, doing what it's supposed to do um, and feeling the way it's supposed to do, energized and all of those things. So your kale is in there. Uh, you guys have to read up on kale. On my uh, fitness page, there's a guy that, uh, uh, a like a doctor that puts people on a diet by making them uh, take a couple of smoothies a day with kale in it. So you've got to read up all the health benefits of kale. <coughs> then, <coughs> excuse me. The other thing is the blueberries, which has antioxidants in it, it's very low on the glycemic index. It's not going to screw up your insulin, not going to go straight to your fat cells. You know, you got to burn these too. If you sit on your butt, I'm pretty sure even the blueberries can go to your fat cells. But if you do exercise and you are active, <coughs> the blueberries are not going to uh, give you an insulin spike and a, a drop in insulin and make you tired and make you hungry and anything. The alkai uh, berries that I put in there, fabulous in fighting uh, free radicals for your skin, for your body. <coughs> also anti-aging, um, antioxidants and all of those things. And then your protein powder, which is, uh, this one is uh, 25 grams, I think, of protein. Or is it 30? Of course, I didn't bring my glasses down. 25 or 30 grams of protein. Anyway, so there's your meal, okay? So here goes the smoothie. Absolutely beautiful, stunning color. Yummy, yum, yummy. There you go. Mm, mm, mm. Cheers, everybody, to healthy bodies and healthy minds. Mm, mm, mm. Try it and let me know what you think. Okay, guys, have a good day. Bye-bye.